All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we haven't gotten up this early to fish in quite some time. It's about 4.50 in the morning and we are on the road and we are about to try for some fluke sea bass, whatever we can find action uh, in the western-ish Long Island Sound. And we're going to a different area today. Uh, it's exciting. It's nice to fish new spots uh, most of the time. Uh, I'm actually going to be meeting up with a fellow YouTuber, a friend of mine, Peter Ranieri. Uh, I'm sure you watch the channel if you've been following this channel. If you haven't, obviously go check him out uh, after this video. There'll be a link in the description. Yeah, uh, we're both trying to hit up a new spot, one that neither of us have fished as far as I know. I know I haven't fished it. And we're looking for a lot of things. Uh, hoping to find some sea bass, perhaps, uh, targeting some structure. Fluke still an option. We're in mid-September. Uh, and then there's, you know, obviously weak fish, striped bass, bluefish, potentially even some pelagic species if they decide to make themselves known. But we don't know. But things look pretty calm today, so I'm excited. Uh, and that's really all I got to say for this intro. So I'll let you get on your way as we start this day and hopefully get some fishing. All right, we are on the water, beautiful conditions. And we're making our way out to the first spot. Brand new spot for me. Uh, so we're gonna do a little exploration. I say we because we've got Peter Ranieri behind us. So it's a, a team effort, if you will. So goal is to just really hit up structure, contours, etc. Sea bass would be nice, but it's always a tough proposition sometimes in the, the sound. So it'd be nice if we found him, but this might just as much be a fluke uh, session. We're really just gonna call it like we see it. Obviously they're gonna be bass, we can fish with those, etc. So hopefully getting some good stuff. Uh, looks really nice out here. A little uh, tinted the water, a little murky, but I think it shouldn't be too much of a deal. Let's see what we can do. You see in streaks at all in the middle? It's not all the time, but every so often, especially when we get over the structure. Okay, so as I said, this was a brand new spot for both of us. And even with that being said, uh, we both did our homework and looked up some potential spots to find fish. Uh, we kind of came to similar conclusions. Uh, we went out to some rock piles and anywhere from 40 to 60 feet of water. And the tide was pretty much dead low and not moving when we got in. So it was very easy to stick to some of these rocks, though. There wasn't a ton of life initially. Eventually, though, as we kept on moving, uh, we did find some action. Definitely a little life down there. Very scattered, though. Nothing super lively. Yo! Yo! Found him. That's a sea bass. Oh, that tendonitis does not feel good. Not bad. That's one. Not too shabby. That should keep. All right, that's gonna be close, but should make it. Yeah, he's 17. He's good. He's like almost 17. There's quite a few over here. The chartreuse tail. Yeah, that Elias shed did the trick on this guy. Bleed him out. And keep, what we, five or six? I forget. Six, all right, I'll take that. <laughs> all right, we got one in the boat. Yo! Over here, man. 
All right, well, that's a little less impressive. Not at all. <laughs> but there's a mark in them over here. Back to back sea bass. That's a good sign. Let's hopefully he's not jinx it. Oh, dang. Come on. There we go. Not that big, but something. Fluke. Yeah. Not terrible. Got a big weak fish. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go over that piece again. Get a good measure on that one though. He just got a nice weak fish, so there's a lot of variety down there. I think once this tide starts moving, it's really gonna be good, but. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's the right kind of area. All kinds of life down there. Just scattered. Definitely check out his video to get a better view of it. Wouldn't mind some weak fish, but I'd love to get a few keeper sea bass. There he is. Little. This might be a porgy. Yep. Uh, I don't really want to keep this. Not today. Here he is. Something. Well, it's the right species. Yeah. <sighs> that felt like a fluke. I should probably turn the boat around because we don't have the wind anymore against us. Oh, what is that? That might be a nice fluke. It's a fluke, 100%. You think it's not doing anything? I think it's a fluke. I don't know what this is. It's got some weight. Might be tied though. Might be. No! Dude, that was a heavy fish, man. Let's see if it comes back. Oh, that felt like a fluke, especially because he came for it before. Ah, oh, damn it. Sometimes they come back. No, this one's not coming back. That felt like a fluke. I don't think it was huge, but it could have went in the cooler. Here we go. That's a sea bass, I think. Pretty close. I mean, those fins make them look so much bigger when you see them. He's gonna be very close. I might be a little short. I think he's a little short. Yeah. 15. That's a fluke. Is it a keeper though? That is the question. I think so. Just got a nice fluke. It's gonna be close. Probably a little short now that I see him, but we'll see. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. So close. It's like almost 18 and a half. All right, well, we're doing okay. We're gonna move around a bit, but in the meantime, I think you know what time it is. It's getting warm out and it's time to quench, no, murder our, our thirst. So yeah, we got some uh, liquid death. Severed lime edition. Um, this one's a, a good one if I remember correct. If I remember correctly, I can't talk today. I really like that. It's like a sprite light. Um, and hopefully this video won't be light on more fish. So let's see if we can get on some more action. Got that one very close fluke. Peter's got on some good fish. I've gotten some okay fish, but let's see if we can really knock it out of the park now. Now we have some good tide. So, so far we've been moving inward. We started out far and moved in, um, but some things have changed since we started. The tides really started moving much better than it was when we first got in. So this might be a mistake, but I'm pushing that we go back out to where we started and see if we can get some life on those boulders, regardless if it's sea bass or not. I have a feeling that there might be some fluke or weak fish pushing up against that. Uh, we're not going to give it too much time. And after that, we're going to, if that doesn't work out well, we're just going to come right back in here and see if we can get back on the sea bass or whatever's in the shallower rocks. We started and I got that keeper sea bass and Peter did pretty well with those weak fish. Might be a mistake to come here when we started getting on some action in shallow, but we didn't really get to fish this area, in my opinion, properly. There was no drift. And when I fished areas like this before, um, they tend to not do super well during slack tide. They fit, tend to fish very well when the tide is moving. We actually have some movement now, so I just need to know if this improves the bike. There could be some really good stuff here, particularly fluke and weak fish, I think. So let's give it a shot. We get a much more thorough fish of this area. Some bunker around too, surprisingly. Already on. Weak fish, I knew they'd be around. Ooh, that was close. We almost took that right in the face. Back down. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a sea bass. 100%. On the rock. I think it is. <laughs> That's going to be close. I don't think so, but maybe. Doubtful. Fifteen. Yeah, pretty much this whole day I was fishing with different soft plastics, predominantly paddle tails. Uh, I started off with a half ounce jig head, but ultimately moved up to a three quarter, especially when the tide was moving. Uh, and yeah, once that tide started moving, it really made a difference. I had some camera issues, but I hooked a really nice fish that snapped me off, and pretty much at the same time, Peter hooked a nice fish too. And this was kind of the turning point for the day because uh, we got in some really good action after this, which you'll soon see. Did you get a gauge of how big it was from the silver, or it was just too far down? Yeah, it was. It didn't look that big, but it fought like crazy. So yeah. I don't know. It was very silver like shine. Yeah. But it was wide though. That was the only weird thing about it. Oh. Yeah. That's hard to say. Unless it happens again. Which it very well could. There's something. I knew I marked something. That's nice. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's probably short, but. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think this is a weak fish. I don't think this is a weak fish. Knew I'd mark something, man. It's like you say, man, you gotta be like a surgeon on these rocks. Yeah, this is definitely, if it's a sea bass, it's staying with, it's coming home with me. Def, definitely not a weak fish. 
Yeah, it's de no, it's a, it's a weak fish. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> that could have been what we both had. <laughs> that's that's a nice one. That might be my, one of my biggest ones, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I lost my PB weakness too. Yeah. That's easy six, seven pounder. <laughs> Get a shot of this guy. I really thought this was going to be a sea bass, man. <laughs> that just shows how strong sea bass are that, like, a weak fish that size. <laughs> yeah. I'm marking more fish down there, too, I think. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't alone. This is risky business on my part. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Oh man, it's all wrapped up. I'm not keeping this thing. I'm just gonna get him in the water for a second. I don't want to kill this fish. Well, I guess I got some redemption. You got smacked. <laughs> Dude, I'm marking, they're, they're thick under me right now, man. Jeez. Yeah, gulp. 27. Just a hair under actually. Really thick though, I think that's what really You see anything? No. I do. <laughs> right in the bottom. Something down there. These aren't rocks like before though, but obviously uh, weak fish don't need to necessarily be under a rock or on a rock. Uh, he smacked it. <laughs> Yeah, just got grabbed. There he is. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a school, man. That was a had some weight behind it too. I mean, these could be sea bass, but probably not. <laughs> there he is. <clears throat> this isn't. As big, I don't think, but it's nice. I don't know. It's not a porgy, <laughs> unless it's a giant porgy. It's a weak fish. <laughs> oh, there's another one right next to it. Dude! Yeah, it just, it's gone now. There was one like right under it. Nice. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. Dude, you might have a 30 incher. Dude. Dude, I'm nervous, man. All right, back to go. Got our fish back and Peter's on like a El Gigante right there. And No! Oh my god. <laughs> They're still down there, man. Back down. Just make sure you, dude. As soon as hit the ground, dude. Not big, but I'm gonna mark the spot. Weak fish, man. He didn't snap you, did he? Another solid one, dude. I can only imagine what the one you had looked like. Dude, they're still so thick under the boat. Barely hooked that one. It's a nice, like, 24-incher. Beauty. So, just about as quick as we found those weak fish, uh, they kind of just disappeared on us. They were probably chasing some bait and moving around. And we could have kept looking for them, but we were actually trying to get out of the water 
fairly soon after that. So we started to make our way into some shallower water, trying to target some structure that looked really fishy um, in about, I want to say, 20 to 30 feet of water thereabouts. And we actually did get on some last-minute good luck. There we go. That's something nice. That's something nice. What is that? That's something nice. I think it's a sea bass. Let's not lose him. I don't think he's a keeper, but... It's not bad. Oh. Close. Very close. Yep, what do I say? About 15 and a half ish. That's not a bad one, fish. I dropped him. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Let's go. This might be a second keeper. Oh man, this might be a keeper. If it's a sea bass. Oh yeah, that's a sea bass. And I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna make it. Let's go, let's go, come on. <laughs> Woo! That is what we're talking about, folks. That's gonna make that's gonna measure up. That's gonna measure up. It's not huge, but that's definitely every bit of 16 and a half. Yeah, he's over 17. We're keeping him. Chunky little guy. All right, just got another keeper sea bass in the 11th hour. I'm just gonna try this real quick once or twice more to see if there's any company. Otherwise, we're gonna bolt out of here and catch up with Peter and see how he did. Cause he went in a little closer in shore. We both decided to target some different structure. Oh man, dropped him. Got him. Oh, we dropped him again. <laughs> Come on. Got him. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Dude, that's a really good one. That's a sea bass? Forget it. That's a sea bass? Forget it. I think it's a fluke. What this is? What this is? It's nice though. As long as it's not a weak fish, we'll keep it. Doesn't feel so big anymore, but I don't know. It's definitely a sea bass. Oh man. Mm, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah. I guess we aren't having sea bass for dinner. I'll just get him right in the stringer. We're not messing around with this one. That is a solid one. All right, 
He's on the stringer. We'll measure him now. Not super long, but super fat. It's about it's about 18. Heck yeah. yeah. Look at that guy. All right, last rock we'll try, and then we're uh, gonna head our way in. Got to work tomorrow, so see if there's any uh, sea bass in this one or anything. I don't. Care. I'm really not picky. <laughs> I'll take anything at this point. But we had a good day. Yeah, we're gonna have to do better than that. <laughs> Still not going to do it. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this might be the one to go out on. I don't think he's that big, but... Oh! <laughs> oh! Maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. I'm come with you. Close. Oh, he's he's big enough. If the <laughs> Yeah, he's there's 16 and a half, he's like almost 17, 16 three quarters. Alright, I'm coming. Hold on. We're going? <laughs> they're teasing you, man. It's like, oh, they're going. Let's, let's, let's start biting now. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun day of fishing with Peter. Um, it definitely took some interesting turns throughout the day. Uh, I think part of the issue was we got in right when the tide was dead low and not really moving and we went over some really good stuff. It just the bite wasn't quite developed when we hit it, or at least not its best. But even then we still managed. When that tide wasn't moving, it was like you had to be right on the structure, like literally holding on top of it. Uh, however, once that tide was moving, being out in the deeper stuff and covering more ground was kind of the way to go. Um, got a lot of hits, a lot of missed fish and Peter told me he had the same thing happen some of which was more obvious than others. Uh, but yeah, when it was deep, when the tide was moving fishing deep, we had a, a lot of luck with those weak fish uh, and some sea bass too. So just food for thought in the future, but pretty good first shot at that spot. And we just scratched the surface in terms of fishing that area. So I definitely look forward to going back in that area in the future. Uh, so much we didn't even touch. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how Peter's uh, session went because we weren't 100% on the same page the entire time, you know, in terms of fishing the same areas. So definitely make sure to check out his stuff too if you haven't done so already. But that's going to do it. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, fishing.